Animating Surprise is a great way to add to your animation skill tree early on because it includes a lot of basic and important animation principles. The principle you should be focusing on the most here is squash and stretch. In motion, different things will squash and stretch as they move. The easiest example of this is a bouncing ball. It squashes and stretches as it bounces up and down, and believe it or not, anything that isn't completely solid like a rock will do the same, more or less. A person's head is a great demonstration of this. Here you can see that in a surprised expression, the face stretches, while in some other expressions it squashes. You might currently be assuming that in order to animate surprise, you should stretch the head slightly when the eyes and mouth open wide. This is true, but we're missing a step. Right now, this person seems only mildly surprised. It might seem illogical and backwards, but to make this person seem genuinely surprised, we'll want to squash the face before stretching it. In our squash frame, the head goes down, the eyes squeeze shut, and the mouth closes firmly. Then we have our stretch frame, where the head goes up and the eyes and mouth open wide. In short, you go backwards before you go forwards. It seems strange, but look at the animation now. It feels a lot stronger. In summary, step one is the normal unsquashed or unstretched look. Then in step two, the head goes down and squashes. And lastly, in step three, the head goes up and stretches. One last thing we can include is a bit of overshooting, meaning that when the head goes up quickly, it goes past the stopping point and then back down into it. This gives the movement more bounce. You'll typically just need to add one frame for this, and you can also stretch the head and features a bit more in this overshooting frame. Now that should be all. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to learn to animate, let me know in the comments.